guys have, uh, you know, never lost two games in a row. I mean, is that uh, is there something about this team, this extra yeah. motivation or ability to kind of bounce back? Or, and therefore, is this week when, this weekend any different, maybe? Uh, no, it's like any other week preparing for a game, and every time we lost, we have respondents. So, uh, yeah, I guess you can say it's kind of a get back mentality. Is it, uh, and like, how has it gone this week, would you say, uh, you know, compared to any other week? Uh, you know, now that it's late in the season, is it more familiarity or more, you know, more motivation because of the, the loss and then the tough game that you have ahead? Or? Yeah, I mean, it's more familiarity in the sense of that you played everyone already now, and you know what they're doing, and you know uh, what you, what we want to do against them. So yeah. it's kind of a lot of you know you need to go back uh, to the to the earlier game we played them, what we need, what we did good, and what we need to do better. What do you think has been? Um, the, do you think there's any problems with the end of games for you guys with? Uh, going from playing fast to maybe slowing it down a little bit and just trying to protect the lead. Is there anything that's that's getting in the way of that? Uh, I necessarily don't think that, you know, trying to slow the game down too much is just kind of how the uh, game goes and down the stretch, you know, refs uh, stop the game a little bit more, their timeouts and stuff like that, so it gets a little bit slower, but I mean, we're, we want to play the same way throughout the whole game. Is it also more about like how the opponent is going with maybe a little bit more pressing and, and things to that effect to try to get back into it? Yeah. yeah. How about, um, you know, we've talked about the, uh, I was just, when you, since you've been coming off the bench and it seems like your numbers for the most part are across the board, but particularly your three-point shooting has been a lot better. I wondered, is there any correlation to that and just the role you're playing now? Why, or or you just you know you just more in a groove this time of year. No, there's no yeah. correlation in playing on the bench and three point shooting. I think it's just uh, uh, sometimes they go in, sometimes they're not, so they don't. But uh, you know, and end of season you gotta make sure you get your reps in still, and yeah. just trying to do that late nights in the gym. So. Why do you think, that for you, just individually, that this has worked so well for you, you know, this different role as opposed to being in the starting line? Uh, well, I was six men of the year last year, so I think... Is it just going off what you knew? Yeah, kind of, and then also, my role isn't that different to me, like, I'm still playing 30 minutes and... Uh, I mean, sometimes it could be easier to, you know, kind of spectate and see what's going on before you get out there. Uh, so it could be like a, it could help, and sometimes you have to go in there when the other team's on a run. So it's it's both ways, but uh, so far it's been go going good. I think Mur Murph said something. I think uh, that maybe you worry less about foul trouble. You particularly is that less of a, a a concern when you come off the bench? Have you found like you play a little maybe a little freer because you don't have to worry about picking up that first foul or two right away? Yeah, I mean, there's always those first two minutes yeah. in a game where you don't really want to pick up that early foul. Uh, but, I mean, that's still something that stuck with me since uh, Maui when I had a lot of foul trouble and something that I've worked on and gotten better at. Did you try to lobby the, the conference to change the six-man rules? Since I think it's one game, one start off. Oh, really? Yeah, well, I think you started one too many. Yeah, one too many. Oh, I mean, I don't really care. <laughs> the intensity changing this time of year? Uh, yeah, I think just like, especially in just game prep, intensity changes a little bit. Uh, games, we have tough games all year and uh, I think, yeah, this this weekend and then leading into Vegas is going to be really fun because, I mean, top three teams, us, UC and UCLA, so really good games and then obviously single game elimination, so pretty amped up. You feel pretty good about playing SC there. I mean, not only did you beat them here pretty good, but last year you guys, you know, clinched the conference. I think you went in pretty big out there. Yeah, I mean, we're familiar with, with it, uh, but I mean, they have a completely different team, and so do we. So, uh, we're not completely, but yeah. So, we just, we have some confidence from the last game, but I'm pretty sure they have the same get back mentality as we do, and yeah. we beat them last time, so they're gonna come out swinging. Yeah. How much did you guys discuss the, the last possession and the defense and all that? Like, how quick did you guys move on and focus? Uh, 
game? Yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, it's not. We didn't really think of it. Just like the last possession, there's a lot of things that lead up to that, and um, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what everyone was thinking about when when they left the game and going through stuff. They they could have gone done better, uh, and we talked about it, and uh, I mean, now we for sure know what we're doing. So that's what we take out. Of it. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Thanks.